Dear Aaron Jeremiah, I couldn't be more proud to call you mine and stand up there with you today as we profess our love and vows to each other in front of all of our family and friends. I truly believe that we met at the most perfect time in our lives, and I couldn't imagine a single day without you in it. You showed your patience, a quality that I love, with me right away, and I'm so glad that you never gave up on us. It was truly the best decision I have ever made to call you that night we spoke for hours. That night gave me the confidence that I needed to give you my parents' address to take me on our first date, which thinking back on it, we will need to teach our future children to not follow in our footsteps. Dear Maggie, well it's finally here. The day I get to walk down the aisle and say I do to my forever partner. It still feels like yesterday when I was picking you up for our first date at Easton. I will always remember that date and what you ordered because it was the soup and uh, you were sick and didn't want to cancel. It's amazing how fast time travels because now we still go to dinner, but we get to go home together, hug our fur baby and go to bed together. That was always the worst part about the past, was you leaving to go home or to work. I always and still do cherish every second I get with you because in life, no amount of time is enough. I will always want one more drive, one more hug, one more kiss, just really anything with you. Those things we could do every day and it just still wouldn't be enough. My only hope for today is to live in the moment with you. I just want to take a mental snapshot of every moment, big or small. I can't wait to see you and have you wipe all the waterworks away. Trust me, only happy tears. My send off for the future, future us, is whenever times are tough or going perfect, it's to take time and reread this letter and remember why we made this commitment to forever. Love you, Maggie. Apparently the only thing I wouldn't do for you is say no. <laughs> and that anxious little girl from grade school grew and grew and became the leader of a robotics team. She wasn't quite so anxious anymore <laughs> and she made me very proud. So the phone calls and the road trips to Kent and answering the constant questions of doubt chose the wrong major, why am I doing this, why am I doing this? That's the way that I knew that you had found the one. Aaron is it. And by that I mean IT. Um, <laughs> pause, pause to see if you have to explain the dad joke. Maggie has the Feldman gene, God help you. She questions everything. She worries about everything. Her school, her major, her job. I never heard her question about you. More than one person has said that you two complement each other perfectly. You are definitely the calm to her storm.
those times you stood by me for all the truth that you made me see for all the joy you brought into my life and for all the wrong that you made right for every dream you made come true for all the love I found in you I'll be ever forever thankful I'm everything I am because you love me by the power of your love and commitment and the power vested in me I now pronounce you husband and wife you may kiss each other <laughs> Maggie always described us as the best older brothers in the world, but I think we all know now that's probably because she's just a little biased. It's been so crazy growing and changing with you, both as individuals and together. I never would have imagined a journey as incredible as ours. God knew what he was doing when he put you into my life. You are my better half, my balance, my rock, my best friend, my leap of faith. I don't know how you've managed to deal with me for this long or why you asked to do it forever, but the fact that you did has completed me. I promise to never stop laughing at your jokes, supporting you in any and all of your crazy ideas and projects, and never stop loving you endlessly. I want to be by your side for the highs, the lows, and everything in between. I want to hold you close, but never hold you back. 